We rolled a 64 on our random number generator, which on our table, one through eight, all the way over here is a guardian, which is doubled down on tank. Uh, so if we go to tank real quick to get a little more inspiration, right? Uh, reading through it, there's not a lot, obviously. They've got a lot more important things to worry about right now than giving me all the information on all the classes. However, we've got abilities to kind of give us the idea of what a tank could be, as well as something that's really neat to me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but tank always to me, I don't know, it's like it's always boxed in to just big body, all armor, one shield, like that feels like it to me. However, this right here, just this little part is huge to me, that a tank can have different build options from an evasion tank, a control tank, and a shield tank. So just the fact that there are three different build options for a tank in general is really neat, especially when they start intersecting with different classes, like different secondary classes. You know, just knowing that you can like, you know, whatever the extra archetypes are, all the archetypes right here, and then you can take those archetypes and then you can use those and these uh, different builds here to create like pretty unique tanks. I'm sure one or two will come out better than the others and they'll probably be more popular. However, these look nice. Uh, and then we went to go for what kind of race did we want our guardian to be, right? Uh, and I haven't done the Veiloon yet, and I really like the idea of this. So the Veiloon are like a, a Middle Eastern inspired race. They're another human race. Uh, but these ones are heavy, heavy into Middle Eastern influence. They live in the desert. Uh, they're like trade princes and princesses. Uh, they came, even though they lack resources, they came and did all this amazing stuff. There is no news on Alpha 2 yet. However, we have a live stream next week. Should be a live stream next week, I want to say. 24th. Somebody might be able to correct me on that. What is that, next Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, and so we picked the Veiloon. I really like this idea of somebody who's like, as an evasion tank, being this like dervish dancing. I think it's the 24th or the 25th in is uh, the next live stream. Maybe I'll double check it on Twitter or any something. I haven't quite pulled it up yet, but I think it's next week, like the 24th, the 25th. Um, so I like the idea of this like dancing dervish, desert dervish, and it makes me think of somebody who like pops in and out of the battle and agitates or draws aggro uh, from somebody while still dodging all their attacks. So that's kind of what I'm getting this cool dancing dervish type evasion tank. So I think that's what we'll do. So we'll do a, how about a female Veiloon? I say that after I just, I we'll do male because I looked up all the male names. <laughs> a male Veiloon. Yeah. And they are a guardian. Which is tank, basically double down on tank. Right, and we said that she would be, or he would be an evasion tank. So we've got this dancing dervish evasion style tank. And actually, I pulled up the name and just had the names waiting before I started the video. And Cappy jumped in chat and took a liking to Akeem, which means knowledgeable or wise. So that'll be our first name of our character. We'll make this Akeem. All right, then I like to go through here. So now I've got, already I've got the first name, right? We've got, we picked a male, we picked the Veiloon, we've got the Guardian tank on tank, we picked Evasion tank. So you see how he's already coming together, like the nuts and bolts of this character are already coming together. And then I told you with the Middle Eastern influence, I already just like had this dancing dervish in my head. And then I saw that it could be an Evasion style tank. Uh, then I saw that it could be an Evasion style tank and Dancing Dervish with Evasion Style Tank all came together and I was like, oh, that is perfect. Uh, so going with the Veiloon, we came up with this Dancing Dervish aesthetic, an Evasion Style Tank, and we came up with the first name, Akeem. So last names are always a little harder for me because then I like to think of what the character is, what they do. So in this, tank, in this instance, Akeem is a tank. So we're thinking Frontline Fighter. Possibly medium armor since he's an evasion tank opposed to plight mail. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm kind of going through the Veiloon, uh, what lore or whatever they have on their website. Even this terribly pixelated. Oh, there it is. You know, I see scorpions. I see because they're from the desert or the sands. 
Zan seemed cool. You, I mean, that almost makes me feel like he could be like... If he wears heavier armor because he's a tank. Uh, Imp, I did hear uh, multiple different podcasts and other content creators who are a lot closer with Intrepid Studios devs say that their goal was for the Rogue to be live in Alpha 2. So if that's the case, I would assume we might... I mean, again, I'm assuming that we'll be hearing about the Rogue relatively soon. Um, nothing's been confirmed, obviously, but if the content creators that are closer to Intrepid Studios have said that their Intrepid is pushing for Rogue to be in Alpha 2, that makes me think that leading up to it, we'll start hearing more about the Rogue class. Um, whether it's the next one or not, I can't. I don't want to say anything because I don't know. <laughs> but um, I heard, what's his name? Who's the YouTube guy I always watch his videos of? Narc. Narc said something about it. I think I heard it on one of the other podcasts. The uh, Ash Pathfinder of Ashes or Ashes of Pathfinder podcast. Um, so I think I heard it there too. So I like the idea of... Like, um, so we know that he's a tank. Akeem's a tank, right? And with him being a tank, it makes me think more sturdy. Metal, heavy metal. Makes me think iron or plate or steel. And then being from being a Veiloon, like Akeem Iron Sand or Akeem Plate. No, I don't like Plate Sand. I like, or just like. Shield of the Sand? Shields of the... No, well, that's a that's a title. That's not a last name, dumbass. Uh, will I play a tank? I don't know. I'm on the fence. Here's why. So, in my previous YouTube videos, and even in chat, I have talked about that I will probably play a summoner first. Like, primary summoner. But the more I started thinking about it, the more I started getting torn. Because I haven't decided if, like, I'm going to go all in on advancing in the world and traveling and exploring and fighting mobs and, and doing all that or I'm just going to do that until a node reaches I think it's three and then go all in on professions and if I go all in on professions I'm going to go in on cooking and then when you're cooking you got to go find all your raw materials so it was making me think that ranger might have some sort of finding herbs or materials perk just because we know the rogue the rogue can find hidden doors and extra treasures and all that jazz. If you're going to do PvP, yeah, then set up in a military node imp. Like, I would, you know, find a military node where the most people are joining, jump in on there to try to make that one expand and explode, because that'll be your probably your PvP hubs, if I had to guess. Um, but if I want to go exploring with my friends, I can be whatever the hell I want to be. But if I want to go in, all in on professions and I'm going to go looking for materials and looking for this... I know they, you know, we don't know exactly how the professions will work, but we know that you're going to have to find a lot of materials to make your profession go further. So it made me think that I might want to do a ranger primary. Uh, I don't usually like playing tank. I'm not sure why. I just don't. Maybe tank as a secondary is pretty easy, but primary class, I'm right now I'm torn between starting as summoner primary or starting as a ranger primary. No, no. Don't do it. Tell you what you can do is come uh, get a buff for however they work at a tavern. Because that's what I want to do is, is run a tavern. Um, I said that my whatever my character I decide to be will be uh, Vera's strongest barkeep <laughs> is what I'm working towards. If they had a monk class, like a hand-to-hand, -hand, I would definitely play like a drunken monk. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Just flavor-wise. But you can definitely come have a beer on me. Oh, you'll be playing on EU? Damn, yeah, I won't. Yeah, I guess if you're in EU, for sure, if you want that. If you're going to PvP, whatever you got to do to make sure you have the best the best latency, the best ping. Iron sand? Quick sand? Steel sands? Ooh, dancing steel. Dancer? Alright, Cap, you help me with the first name. Help me out here, man. Kim. Uh, 
kind of like dancing. No, iron. No, I kind of like iron sh sand. That makes it feel more dwarf, though. <laughs> I don't know why. Iron sand gives me a dwarf vibe. Um... I wonder if we can look up Middle Eastern last names. I don't even know if the Middle Eastern culture names the way we do. These are a lot of good names. I just, uh, what is this? So what if we change this up a little bit? So what if we do, see Sharif somewhere? <laughs> I like, I like where your head's at, Imp. I like where your head's at. I like this, it makes me think of If we play with that what if we play with this what if we play with unnecessary punctuation marks oh my god please hit the right buttons I can't think I just can't I'm gonna go with iron sand but then we need a badass nickname Like Shield of the Sand, Shield of the Desert. Uh, oh my god, help. I like the Scorpion too. Oh, why don't we just do this? It's a cool nickname. Tanky. Strikes quick and deadly like a Scorpion. Scorpions are obviously... Akeem Iron Sand, the Armored Scorpion. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I can dig it. Yeah, and then he got his name, the Armored Scorpion, because again... Full on ta uh, tank action, tank on tank action. Big guy, able to wear heavier armor. Except in the Middle Eastern um, inspired land of Vero. I can't actually think of their home. What is their home? Heel? Oh, maybe it would help if I exited out of here. Do they have a hometown? Do they tell them where they're from? Wealthiest empires and sanctus. So. Excuse me. I don't really have a good name, like a good town. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. All right. We're going to say he's an evasion style tank, and that's going to come from the fact that the sand's not always the most surest of footing. So he's always got to be moving to avoid soft spots in the sand, or has to be aware of his footing more because of various poisonous animals and creatures and snakes and spiders and scorpions and everything found in the desert. So that's what's going to force him to have quicker feet, giving us that dancing dervish vibe and kind of playing into the fact that he's an evasion tank. Yeah. Then growing up in a trade capital, let's say his family were traders, as is the lifeblood of that civilization, and having somebody who could protect them was a big deal. And some of the creatures are strong, some of the bandits are very strong, and he just grew up being tough, 
not necessarily a large stature, but just being tough. And then he can take a punch. He can do all that. And it just built on, built on, built on. And he just focused n on nothing but his stamina and his resistance and his strength. Uh, and he learned how that he could take a punch. He could draw people from other people, pull people to him, uh, whether through charisma or just sheer assholeness, <laughs> depending on how you want to play the character. Um, and I, you know, I always think Dancing Dervishes, if he's going to be a tank opposed to a DPS, then he's going to have this big character, like, uh, personality where he's going to have to, like, goad and insult in this way to get characters to come after him. And then they just get pissed off that they can't hit him and they continue to try to hit him. So they're focusing on him. That's pulling the aggro away and things like that. So you can flavor it like that. You kind of flavor Akeem Iron Sand as an asshole. I kind of like it, like a sarcastic asshole who's always like insulting people and bringing them towards him, uh, but he's doing it out of like a good, good heart, uh, growing up protecting his family that way. Big personality, even bigger shield. Ooh, I like that. Big personality, even bigger shield. Even bogger shield. Bog personality. What am I? Help. I can't type today. I like it. Our male Valen Guardian. Tank on take action. Dancing Dervish inspired evasion style tank. Akeem Iron Sand, also known as the Armored Scorpion. He's got a big personality that's spelled wrong. Uh, and an even bigger shield. <laughs> nice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the character creation session. Uh, this one was actually kind of short and succinct. Everything just kind of came together. I guess they don't have to be 30 or 40 minutes long um, if everything just kind of plays nice together and just kind of falls in place. I really like it. Akeem Ironsand, the Armored Scorpion. Thanks for stopping by.